welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today, I'm excited to tell you we're finally gonna get that video made, making biscuits on the charcoal barbecue grill in my cast iron pan. So first things we wanna do is we wanna go out and let's get that barbecue grill started and fired up. Today, I'm gonna be using my chimney. I have never used it before, and I have never ever used a barbecue grill before. So let's just see how easy or how hard it is. Come on, let's go get the grill started. Okay, as you can see, I got my charcoal in my charcoal chimney. I got it about three-fourths of the way full. And in the bottom of my chimney, I have some brown uh, paper as well as a, a cell sheet wadded up down in there. It's kind of loosely wadded up. It needs to make sure it gets air to burn. So now I'm just going to ignite the fire and let the charcoal chimney do the rest. See it's starting to smoke. All right, guys, we're gonna leave this sitting here for about 15 minutes and wait for the coals to get get white, and we'll come back and we'll get our biscuits on the grill. All right, here's my biscuits. Y'all, this is just a package of biscuit. I just added milk to it um, and dropped these down into the pan. Um, I did warm my pan just slightly, slightly as you see. I'm still able to touch it and melted some butter around the bottom. All right, so let's take these out and let's get these on the grill. As you see, let me get my pot holder here. All the emblems are turning red, all the coals are. It's time to pour it out into my grill. So now I'm just gonna pour these out. Stay away from the today, it's very hot. That's my grandson. All right, so let me get the biscuits and we'll get them on the grill. All right, y'all, I got the grate on there. Got the coals spread out. Y'all, we're gonna use in this grill like it's an oven. So I'm gonna close the vent. My daughter's helping me, got my biscuits. Now if you got a lid, you need to put the lid on to help it work more like an oven. If I was baking these inside, we would want the temperature around 400 degrees. Um, and it is very hot, so I think this is gonna work beautifully. I'll bring y'all back in about 10 or 15 minutes and we'll take a look. All right, as you can see, my biscuits are all nice and golden brown and done, y'all. Let's get them off here and get them inside. Okay, back inside. Y'all, I'm really sorry about the um, short um, clips of it out on the grill. It is humid. It's all get out. Um, now I'm talking, you can cut the air with a knife out there. Um, for the, those that have been around, y'all know I have lung issues, so it was made it kind of difficult breathing out there. So I was trying to do it as quick as I could. But um, yeah, if you didn't know, that was my very first time ever using a barbecue grill. I cook up a storm in the house, but I have never ever in my life cooked on a grill, whether it be um, gas or charcoal um that was my first time using the charcoal chimney y'all i love it get you one get you a charcoal chimney you can get them for as little as 15 bucks at walmart i will have to say it was very tempting for me not to show my biscuits again because i'm gonna show you they did get on the bottom um i did like i told you um i did kind of warm my pan up inside slightly i won't do that again um this is a learning curve for me but y'all it does not take a long time to make biscuits on the grill like i was thinking that was the whole purpose of this video for me was to find out what what it's going to be like to make bread or biscuits on the grill and y'all it's very quick and easy just um you want to make sure you check on your bread or biscuits to make sure until you get that you know for y'all seasoned um, grillers you probably already know how but yeah, let me turn you down. We'll open the biscuit up and take a look at it. All right, here's a better look at the biscuit, as you see. Yeah. So let's open it up inside. Like I said, this is a mixed biscuit. Looks nice and good. I'm going to give it a taste. I want to see if it has a charcoal -y taste or if it has a bread biscuit taste. Melt the butter up a little bit.
Mmm, it's good. It is good. So now I know how to make biscuits in an SHTF situation, and so do you. All right, y'all. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.